Consider amendment number seven, printed in House Report 115-187. For what purpose is the gentleman from Washington seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. Clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number seven, printed in House Report number 115-187, offered by Mr. Kilmer of Washington. Pursuant to House Resolution 396, the gentleman from Washington, Mr. Kilmer, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Washington. Thanks, Mr. Chairman, and I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman's recognized. Uh, thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm here this morning to talk about the biggest thing on the minds of the folks that I represent, and that's jobs. I'm glad that we are having a discussion today about how to help people uh, land a job that they can be proud of. Whether I'm at a VFW or a county fair, uh, in a lot of parts of the re region that I represent, this is the concern that I hear more than anything else. Today's bill would help people who are looking for work acquire skills that help them land a bigger paycheck and a better career. And I'm glad to offer an amendment with a fellow member of the bipartisan working group, Representative Valadeo, to make sure that the bill that's passed does some good for rural communities and for our tribal partners as well. Uh, I know firsthand the challenges that small towns across America are facing. I grew up in a timber town in Washington State and watched some of the parents of my friends and some of my neighbors lose their jobs uh, as mills shut down. And these men and women are the hardworking Americans that want work and they want training and they want careers. And in short, they want a shot at a better life. And that's what this bill will do and I really commend Mr. Curbelo and Mr. Davis for bringing it forward. And with our amendment, we can make sure that that shot is extended to all communities, uh, no matter their zip code. Our amendment directs the Secretary of Health and Human Services to take a look at how to address employment challenges in rural areas and those challenges facing members of federally recognized Native American tribes. It directs the Secretary then to provide recommendations to Congress on what fixes actually work best. Uh, when it comes to providing the training to get folks into quality jobs, we want to make sure that we're not flying blind. And our amendment makes sure that we have all the information that we need to make the right decisions and give folks who want a quality job a shot at that. And with that, I reserve.